And good evening and welcome to DTLT Today, where we've been covering the live events as, they, as they've been unfolding. You've been watching, I believe, some live coverage, and we'll be able to cut away that in just a moment. But give us the rundown. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm joined today by Andrea. Tina. Tina. Tina Rush. Tina, uh, give us the rundown of what, what's been unfolding in the past few minutes here. What's your name again? My name is... Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Um, my name is Tina. And it's kind of confusing what has gone on today because this organization here at Mary Washington lost their big toe the other day. His name is Jim Groom. Apparently he was abducted um, by one Cole Kemplis who lives in central Pennsylvania we discovered that he was two-timing us, let's say, and he was giving a presentation, apparently, up at Penn State. And the best that we know is that we just got done watching the presentation on the Internet. And that's all I know at this point, Andrea. And I believe at this point we have some live video from Penn State. I'd like to go to that. And this is Jim Groom, and we believe he's been hijacked, kidnapped by Cole Camp Lease and Penn State University. So let's cut away to the video. And giving feedback to student generated research and work. And this is actually happening a lot. So here's one example, and then this is another example. This is a student run site in Fredericksburg. Now, how many of you are familiar with it's Fredericksburg? Be is that, is that okay, a few of you. Archive. So if you're familiar with it, you probably know that the Civil War is a part of that. Like, it's never really stopped happening. I'm serious. I, okay, here's my story. I tell it every presentation, but I love it, and I can't stop. So me and my wife are from Brooklyn, but we lived in Brooklyn for like seven years. And then I got a job at Mary Washington, so we moved down to Fredericksburg, and it was on December 13th. So historians out there will automatically be like, ding. 7th 13th was the big battle, the first Fredericksburg battle, where the North got slaughtered. And they got slaughtered on the hills that I moved into, the house. What you've been watching is Jim Groom hijacked from Penn State, but uh, as it appears, it does not look like he's been hijacked. Is that the case, uh, Andre? Well, Tina, he actually looks quite good, I would say. Um, we thought this actually was a breaking news event, um, and we even have you know, the traffic stopped here in New York City that people are so excited about this breaking news event. But uh, indeed, he, he actually looked quite well, um, even taken care of um, by his Penn State uh, host. So I'm actually quite impressed by Cole Complice and... Uh, uh, the Penn State people, Brad Koslick and, and others there, um, he seemed to have actually gotten a warm welcome, and he seems comfortable there, almost as if he had planned to be up at Penn State today uh, at the speaking engagement. Doesn't look anything like a kidnapping. Yeah. What do you think? And I'm, I'm very confused by that, to be quite honest. Uh, it, he left without much notice, uh, stormed out even, and... It, it just doesn't strike me as like him. However, as you mentioned, it, it seems all above board. It seems legit. Do you feel like in any way, you know, he was ranting there on the video, and it almost had a Tea Party feel to it, uh, mm. that, that perhaps uh, Michelle Bachman could be involved or someone of that nature. Is that possible? Um, so, so let me get this straight, Tina. Um, Jim Groom was ranting. Um, do you know, are you familiar with Jim Groom? I've met him. Do you know Jim Groom? I, well, well. Do you love Jim Groom? Do I? That's what we really need to know is do you love him? You I, like Jim Groom, I but like, do you I love like him? I like Jim Groom. I like him, but uh, love, uh, I don't know, friends, friends with benefits? How about Chipotle? How do you feel about <laughs> Chipotle? <laughs> um, I love Chipotle. I do, too. I do. I do. Absolutely. Um, so... Tina, where do we go from here? He, he, re he really does seem to be, uh, like I say, well taken care of. And um, w w did, you, did you catch any of his talk? Did he, did he kind of touch on those familiar points? He, he does seem to be a dynamic speaker um, when it comes down to it. And uh, 
Um, he, he seemed to have the audience kind of in the, in the palm of his hand like he usually does. What, do you, what did you think? I was, I was quite pleased. Uh, you know, it, it, a lot of the same slogans and things that you hear, uh, a yeah. lot of contradictory statements, but people come for that. When, the, when they ask for the bhava, I believe they want that. Yeah, they expect the contradiction. They expect the, uh, the, the flowery statements, the hyperbole especially. I, I always come for the hyperbole myself. Sure. Well, uh, we're going to keep uh, covering this live news as it unfolds. I believe that last night there was a bit of a drunken cast on DS106 Radio, and so we're going to keep following that. And be sure to watch DTLT today for the latest news involved in this. Uh, Tina, thank you so much for coming. It was great having you, Tina. Andre? <laughs> I think I'm Andrea now. Yeah. Aren't you, Tina? I, I don't Tina, know. Tina, where's the crazy hair... I do, I do enjoy this little fluff here. So. Without, without Jim here, I don't know who I am anymore. I know. Um, Jim Groom, please, please come back. We, we need our big toe. Thank you for watching DTLT today, and have a good night. Goodbye, Andrea. Goodbye, Tina.